G'day guys, welcome back, my name is Wildcard. Thank you for being here and watching my content, I really do appreciate it. You are here today because it's the Battle of the Islands, Super Rugby Round 12, Fijian Endura hosting Moana Pacifica. Wow, this was an insane game, okay? This was not a game of basketball, okay? 47 points to 46, this was actually a game of rugby. And uh, yeah, which is brutal, brutalizing rugby, big, big, big men belting each other for 80 minutes. And uh, seven tries for both teams. Uh, and yeah, there was <laughs> no kicking game in this one. It was just brutal running game. Uh, a lot of really strong set piece from both teams. Mono Pacifica in particular had a much more dominance in that uh, more. Uh, but the scrum wise, Enduro had a dominance in the first half of the scrum machine. In the second half, the reserves just wasn't uh, quite good enough to match out the Mono Pacifica scrum machine. So yeah, this whole game was just big men mauling each other and uh, quite entertaining quite entertaining to say the least so the uh the yeah so for both teams the defense was probably a glaring issue both teams have a different style of attacking the endurers actually had a more wider used the space wider and a little bit better and there was a lot of back and forward with the endurers attacking style they they tend to switch i've noticed side quite quickly so they only go like maybe two phases in one direction and then quickly go back the other direction for two phases whereas mono pacifica is more just kind of like down the middle a bit more they don't they didn't utilize the width nearly as much and as effectively as the endurance did for this game uh, but what did pay off for the mono pacifica i already mentioned is that more right that was brutal that like the, the mono pacifica more was so organized so structured uh yeah it was just it like you it, it, it's, it's you know, very rarely do you see a more that just never breaks and goes all the way into the try line. Usually force a pile a little bit, uh, and then people kind of scrambles over the try line. But yeah, not often you see the more just consistently getting over the try line uh, while it's intact. And the Mono Pacifica was able to do this multiple times today. And uh, yeah, it was I think it was what two or three more tries this game, uh, and that's what basically kept Mono Pacifica in the game. But with the jurors was able to get out early points in both halves. Looking like they're gonna run away with the game, and then Mono Pacifica find themselves back with the better discipline, with the better uh, set piece, and uh, yeah, so close at the end. Christian Lele Efano gets a gets an had an opportunity to win the game for Mono Pacifica right at the end. They scored a more try, and Lele Efano misses the kick. Yeah, the, in the end, the difference was was down to the goal kickers. Uh, Frank Lomani, I think it's the guy. Yeah, was doing the kicking for the uh, endurers, and he only missed one. And there was balls right from the sideline that he was able to pump through. Uh, considering, you know, the goal kicking had been a huge issue for, for the endurers, Lomani stepping up to the plate and taking over the duties and just really nailing it is something that I, I'm, I'm really, really, um, you know, happy and I'm really, really impressed by. So, yeah, Lomani, you know, something that the endurers just really patched up a big issue, and that is what. Won the game for the Endurers, the difference in the goal kicking. And I thought at the end there, it was quite... <laughs> I actually thought it was... Uh, you know, knowing that Lely and Fano had a pretty poor, poor like, goal kicking record in recent times. I So so get this, right? There was a more. So, uh, uh, so there was a, a, a more. The, the, the more Pacific went for a more. For a, like five meters more, like with about like, two minutes left in the to the... To the uh to the end of the game, and the referee penalized one of the Fijian Ninjura players for engaging. Uh, I think engaging a player in the air, and issued a yellow card. Okay, I was like, "Thank God, that was that was a yellow card, not a penalty try." Like like the ball hasn't been formed at that point, because if that was a penalty try, then Lely and Fano didn't have to do the kick, right? And in fact. When this yellow card was issued, I thought to myself, if the Endurance were smart, they should just like let the Mono Pacifica score and, you know, risk the 50-50 the chance for the missed kick for Leili Afano instead of giving away the penalty try. I was just like holding my breath saying, please don't give away the penalty try. Please don't give away the penalty try. And luckily, nobody, you know, did anything you know, no, yeah, the, the, the mall was just way too strong. Nobody tried to sack it. Everybody's maintained their discipline. Uh, no penalty try allowed Lily Afana to, to, you know, take the kick. I was like, 
thank goodness that was not a penalty try because Lele Avano uh, had missed in similar positions earlier in the game. In fact, in previous, you know, previous rounds, he's missed kicks from the exact same location multiple times in this season as well. So it's not an easy kick for him. I was like, yes, maybe he will miss. And uh, yeah, he, excuse, uh, what is it? Uh, hooks the kick. And uh, yeah, that was uh, quite a, quite interesting. I was just like, please don't be a penalty try because it would have been so, so, so disappointing. But yeah, lucky for the injurious, uh, Lely Infano didn't have his kicking boots on. So yeah, let's go through some of the key key stats of the game. Seven tries apiece, 553 run meters to Endurance to 340. Like I said, the Endurance was really able to find a lot of space and wide this game, getting a lot of that run meters as, as they always do. The Mono Pacific at 340, a lot of big crash balls down the middle, 88 carries for the Endurance, uh, 77 for Mono Pacifica, 18 defenders bidding for the Endurance, 26 for Mono Pacifica. I was surprised when I saw this, this stats. I thought the Endurance probably would have been more defenders. But in thinking back about it, the Endurance was really efficient when they did make those line breaks and turning those into points. But for a lot of the games, uh, even for about, yeah, like, like at least 50% of the game, in both halves, towards the end of the both halves, the Endurance were just on the receiving end of the, of the, of the defensive pressure uh, from, from the Mono Pacifica. 10, uh, 11 turnovers conceded for Endura, 10 for Mono Pacifica, 90 tackles made for Endurance. 26 tackles missed. This is quite high for Endurance because normally they're actually much better than this in defense. And I think that's probably yeah something that they need to work on, that consistency. They were really good for 20 minutes and then they just kind of like fell off for the remainder 20. Mono Pacifica, 92 tackles made, 18 missed tackles, slightly better overall. Kicks in play, 6-7. to seven. Nobody was wanted to play the kicking game at all in this game. Yeah, essentially, it was out of the questions. Conversions, and this is the difference of the game. Six conversions landed for uh, Lomani. Four. For four out of seven for Christian Leliefano. And there was one penalty for Leliefano. But overall, that was the difference between the two teams. Lineouts, again, five for Fijian. 14 for uh, Mono Pacifica. Uh, a lot, I'm pretty sure this... One of, there was a few lineups that was lost, and this is uh, definitely a mistake. Scrums, 10 to Fiji and Endura, 6 for Mono Pacifica. There was a number of scrum penalties. Again, there was two, I think, against Fiji and Endura in the second half. There was one big, big scrum uh, penalty for the Endurance in the first half. So the, the scrum machine was so good in the first half for the Endurance. I thought that was that was something that the Endurance could probably abuse a bit more in the first half to try to get those penalties, trying to get themselves in a better positions. Uh, when they did get the penalties, I was surprised that with the scrum dominance, the Endurance opted for tap and go instead of setting up for the scrum to go for the penalty uh, advantage right away. But yeah, then in the second half, he kind of like completely flipped on his head. The, 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 the Mono Pacifica reserves came on and just really did a number on the Fijian scrum uh, in the second half. So big difference there in, for both teams in terms of the scrummage. Penalties conceded 12 against Endurance. Again, this is quite high for Endurance. Normally, they're like under 10 in their penalty count. Uh, Mono Pacifica, on the other hand, really good discipline. Only four penalties conceded. Uh, an international test team will be envious of that stat. One yellow card for, for Endura. It was looking like it was going to be over. But yeah, uh, luckily, Lely Afano didn't have his kicking boots on and allowing the Endurance to walk away with a one-point win. But yeah, that was the difference, you know, the the one, the, the goal kicking, the, the line out malls. And uh, yeah, let's go through some of the key plays of this game. First up, four minutes into the game, the Mono Pacifica was actually the first team to get on the board. There was um, some nice sequence of play by Lely and Fano. And then the ball uh, gets popped over the top to Willie Havili, Dave Havili's brother. And then he dives into the corner, dunks down in the ball. And yeah, Mono Pacifica looking like they came out to play immediately, look, looking much more structured, much more fluid. And yeah, five minutes in, seven points to nil to Mono Pacifica. Uh, four minutes later, or not, uh, about eight minutes in for uh, eight minutes into the game, Fijian strikes back and they had a huge scrum, like a huge scrum penalty right in front of the Mono Pacifica try line. And something that was really like this scrum, like completely just demolished uh, Mono Pacifica in, in a really impressive way. And then uh, Melly takes a quick tap and then just immediately goes in for the for the return try. Seven points to seven, nine minutes into the game. 
Uh, there was a bit of a poor kicking by Mono Pacifica and some uh, nice little counter attack. Uh, the ball goes out to basically the Fijian Indra spreads the ball out to to Marcy. Marcy just single handedly ran through like four players. Stiff down one player, bumps through another, uh, goes in for his second try. Uh, of the got some secret for the Virginian jurors, uh, and then the scoreboard suddenly ticks up 12 points to seven. And then the jurors, following this try, was able to use the, the width of the field quite nicely. They, they were started on the right side on the field, they went down the right hand side, nice little line break, and then the ball comes kind of loose in one of the rocks. But it doesn't matter, the, the, the jurors recovers the ball quickly, spore the ball back to the left hand side. Um, I, but yeah, Frank Lomani. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, straight back to the left-hand side. Durasese gets gets the ball. He runs in, bumps over one of the defenders. He gets really close, gets tackled. Quick ball uh, for the Jurors. Another quick pick and go. And then the ball kind of like, again, it had a big wide open side and a nice little short side. Lomani decides to go for the short side. Throws the ball back to Durasese. Goes into the corner. And then Lomani pops. This one was right in the corner. And Lomani pops this one through. I was like very impressed by this goal kick by Lamani as well. Suddenly the scoreboard is 21 points to 7. 25 minutes into the game, uh, there was a penalty against Fijian and Jura. Mono Pacifica decides to go for the more. And then, yeah, perfectly set more. And this more had so much momentum going. The hooker throws the ball, throws the ball. And he runs into, you know, runs to the back of the more, right? And the more was already like bolting through like it was already had so much momentum the hooker didn't even have to get in there to 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 to, to, to make this more you know to, to shove twist to you know to to advance the more it was already just like powering through and then yeah obviously uh with that momentum uh Lin Lindemar goes in for the second try for Mono Pacifica uh, and then 27 minutes into the game Mono Pacifica again was just building pressure and, and I don't know what's going on with the injurious they looked tired almost after scoring three tries. It looked like they just really uh, almost felt like they've got this one in the bag, sort of. Yeah, really a lot of pressure has taken off in terms of Fiji and Jura's attack. A lot of intensity has come off the off the game. Uh, Mono Pacifica was able to put a lot of pressure on inside the Jura's 22. They go to the right-hand side, Leiling Efano. Nice little ball to um, to Havili, who straightened up the... There was like a lot of Jura players. Just drifting out wide, and then letting a final spot of this, just nice sharp short ball to Havili, who ran just like straight up the the line, just running against the grain. I think that's what they call it. Uh, just yeah, punches straight through the defensive, the, the drifting defense, and goes in for the for the for the third try for Mono Pacifica. So then the scoreboard is twenty one points to nineteen. Thirty two minutes into the game, the um uh yeah, thirty two minutes into the game, the um. Yeah, the, the Fijian Jurors was getting themselves back into the game. Uh, they were putting a lot of, uh, I guess, a lot of mini line breaks sort of thing, getting over behind the advantage line. A lot of nice carries getting behind the, the advantage line. And then eventually the ball was really quick on the breakdowns. So Lomani was, was did really well to get there and then able to spread the ball out, uh, out get the ball out uh, really quickly. So with this fast breakdown, the Mono Pacifica team was just looking like a little bit lost, but the defense was just not getting back. Uh, they were scrambling. And then the, uh, uh, what happened then? Um, yeah, the, the, the quick ball goes out wide to Sa'u. Uh, he got really close. And then the ball goes to short side again. And then the ball comes out. Lomani had a look, decides to go back to uh, Sa'u, who goes into, um, yeah, goes into the corner for the fourth try. For Fijian and Jura just before half time. Uh, and you figure that maybe going to half time, you know, Fijian and Jura can hold on to their one try lead, 26 points to 19. Nope. Uh, Mono Pacifica just before half time has uh, gets, gets himself another go. They had a nice little break down the right hand side. And then there was just some nice little support play between the players in, in the Mono Pacific team, just back and forth uh, between the players. Eventually, the ball goes to Amoa. He runs over the final defender, literally. Just belts him through, and then he gets over the try line. One of the Fijian Jura guys tried to take him out, but it was too late. So he just like bumped him, and he just fell into the end zone. But yeah, Amora, this was this was such a powerful run. Uh, he's been signed with the Crusaders. Uh, you can tell why, because this this power it was like really really impressive. And uh, yeah, carries the ball through. Suddenly the scoreboard at halftime, twenty six points to twenty four. Second half, 
one minute into the second half, not one minute, four minutes into the second half, the Injurious was back on the on the on the attack on the offense. There was an early penalty for the Injurious. They decided not to take the three, which was uh no sorry, there was an early penalty against the Injurious one minute into the game. Mono Pacifico decided to take the three. So they kicked the one through. 26 points to 27. I thought they should have gone for the line out more. So I was really surprised. You know, one minute into the second half, considering how well your line out more was going, I thought they should, could have gone for the line out more, but they went for the three points. So 26 to 27, just to give themselves that mental, I guess, lead as well. The winning by one point, still got pretty much the entire second half to go. So yeah, four minutes in the second half, the endurance fights fast after this three points being uh, being played. Uh, there was a, there was a, yeah, so Injurious was putting some pressure inside the Mono Pacifica 22. The ball kind of goes, like, the ball kind of, it was kind of slow ball. And then the ball goes out to the inside sender for the Injurious. And the ball gets over, kind of like a poor pass. Gets over, thrown a little bit, and it kind of like went, went through his hands and bounced behind him. But it doesn't matter. Uh, Loa Sese, Adura Sese, scoops out the ball and just, like, ran straight. Palmer through a couple of defenders and goes in for the first try for the Endurance in the second half. So I think the scoreboard is 33 points to 27. Endurance leading 53 minutes into the game. Uh, another huge scrum for the Endurance. The ball goes, uh, Lomani gets the ball out. He runs He runs into the 9 and 10 channel and then just towards the defender and just marches the top out to, um, to Marcy, who just ran this beautiful inside line, punches through. For the second try. So yeah. Uh, in about 12 minutes in the second half. Injurious gets two tries on the ball. And then immediately from the kickoff. Right. Uh, one of the Mono Pacifica. I think one of the props was running out. He, he was getting. Like he went into contact. As he was about to get tackled. He tried to flick the ball out. To, to his own players. And it went to nobody. He just flicked the ball out. Uh, and then. Marcy runs up. Chips the ball down the field. He chases. Picks up. Scoops up the loose bounce. And then goes in for the third try. Yeah, so three tries were scored in 10 minutes for the Injurious, in the, uh, basically right from the get-go in the, in the second half. And yeah, it was looking really, really bad for Mono Pacifica. And it was looking like Injurious was easily going to walk away with a bonus point, considering there's still 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes left. And then, yeah, uh, unfortunately, that's where the, the, yeah, 55 minutes, that's where the, the, uh, the scoring ended for the Injurious. Ah, uh, yeah, believe it or not, the Injurious didn't score a single point after the 50, uh, 55 minutes. So they get this try on, 47 points to 27. And it was looking like, uh, um, it was looking like it was just going to be, uh, this was going to be, you know, a runaway from here on. Uh, but no, uh, again, kind of similar to the first half. The Injurious kind of just taking the foot off the gas, I guess. And Mono Pacifica just made a huge comeback to almost win the game right at the end. So, um... Right from the yeah, from the um right from the get go after the try to score, Mono Pacifica gets a penalty, they kick the ball out for a more, and then they just yeah, like just like they did in the first half, they more the ball through for their first try in the second half. Uh, Paul was on the receiving end, gets the uh the, the ball down, forty seven points to thirty four. Uh, about ten minutes later, sixty six minutes into the game. Uh, again, the Mono Pacifica was just having a lot of just success running down the center of the field, putting the the Injurious defense on the on the on the back foot. Uh, they get a penalty. They go for a scrum, and then the ball kind of just comes out straight to Lele Fano, right? And Lele Fano gets the ball. Uh, he he kind of did a bit of dummy. He, he looked like he was gonna. He had two players, one on the on the outside, one on the inside. He, he looked like he had two options that he could have gone for, but he just kind of like did a bit of a bit of a um, dummy and just went straight through for himself. He just yeah, I did not expect that. I was. Very surprised that he was able to punch himself through there. So yeah, uh, Lady Infano gets gets a try. 47 points to 41. Uh, and then finally, the game approaching this is the end. Uh, Injury was uh, was really you know trying to hang on. Uh, there was a late tackle, 77 minutes in. The Injurious gets a warning. Uh, so yeah, the referee says no more late tackles. Mono, this was looking quite dangerous, right? With about two minutes left, Mono Pacifica kicks the ball out for a five meter line out, and we know it's going to be a more. Uh, immediately, the more the, the line out throws in, uh, the referee says, the, uh, I think the player was engaged in the air, yellow card against uh, Virginia and Drew, and suddenly they're down to one uh, 14 players with a prob in the bin. And then now it's looking quite bad because if Mono Pacifica 
it's pretty much guaranteed going to score the try. And if it was a penalty try, it's a guaranteed seven points and you lose the game, right? So Mona Pasuka once again goes for the more, goes for Mana, and the more, yeah, immediately more goes through and gets the try. And I was just praying that nobody get rid of penalty for a penalty try. Uh, sure enough, Mona Pasuka scores this one. As the clock is ticking over to the red, Christian Lennon finally had a chance to win the game. And uh, yeah, just, just cooks the kick. And uh, ooh, Virginia Ninjura walks away with a one point win over Mono Pacifica. I think they really wanted a bonus point. The drop in concentration in both halves, towards the end of both halves, really kind of hurt the team a little bit. But uh, yeah, overall, this was a win that I think Ninjura fans will enjoy. And uh, yeah, I don't know how this is going to play. I think they needed a bonus point to make the top eight. Might be a little bit too late, even if they beat the Reds next week. But uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Like and comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, see you guys later for more reviews. Cheers.